it was. The best two of three falls, submissions, or one kill to decide the winner. It's my pleasure to introduce you on my left, formerly of Ellesmere Port, now resident in London, we have the British middleweight champion, Brian Goldberg Moxie. And ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege to introduce you on my right, a boy who's only just gone 18 years of age, the wonder boy from Warrington, Steve Wright. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you and welcome to the De Montfort Hall here in Leicester. Starting with this middleweight contest, quite a freestyle wrestling's lineup for you here this afternoon. Eight five-minute rounds, two falls this one between Brian Maxine, the British middleweight title holder, the reigning champion. There he is with his usual crown on, or a slightly different one, plus, of course, the gold belt. And Steve Wright, this wonder boy from Warrington. Just what chance you'll have here this afternoon against Maxine, I don't know, but a great wrestler to be, this fellow, no doubt about it at all. Gordon Smith already having trouble to try and get Maxine back to his corner. So when the timekeeper can ring the bell, he'll ring it. Finally, the bell goes, and Maxine's got to remove the crown and go back to his corner. So it's Brian Maxine in the dark purple trunks versus Steve Wright of Warrington. Maxine from Ellesmere Port, Cheshire, Steve Vido country. Eight five-minute rounds, two falls to decide this contest. And I hope we see some of Steve Wright's expertise here, because it really is something to watch. Not a move has occurred so far, but already a private warning to Maxine to stop beefing and get into the fray. Yeah, not, so, not laughing quite so much anymore now, Maxine. the crowd all of course for Steve Wright <laughs> doesn't mind the ribbing too much from the crowd he still manages a grin now <laughs> a little surprised at that one <laughs> all right that's enough of that says Maxine let's shake hands and start the bout again Steve Wright doesn't trust him at all. Hardly any difference here. In fact, Steve Wright, the tall boy, is uh, just five pounds heavier than Maxine. But well in the middleweight class. Maxine, who uh, gives me the usual sign, as he nearly always does when he passes our table, especially when he sees that uh, we're laughing a little. But 
this time your laugh was against his opponent, really, because he got out of that very <laughs> It was meant to be a cross buttock throw, but it didn't really come to that. <laughs> Going the other direction suddenly. A little under a minute left in this first round of eight. <laughs> Steve Wright, very seldom lies idle. Beautiful. 30 seconds to go. Steve Wright, the advantage with the reverse grapevine and toe hold. Again, Maxine showing us that he can make the escape moves just as well. Ooh, a lovely spin out. A bad landing by Maxine on the bow. There he is, the confident looking young Steve Wright, who started as a full-time pro in April 1969, at the age of 16, the youngest ever pro wrestler who uh, appeared on television. We've seen him several times, of course, but look at that confidence against the champion in his weight bracket. Two, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide this winner. Seven rounds to go. Brian Maxine, the champion, middleweight champion of Great Britain, in the dark purple trunks versus Steve Wright of Warrington. About four or five weeks ago, I went to see the doctor. And before we even got round to my knee, he said it'd be a good idea to keep an eye on the old blood pressure. He said, you know, eat healthily, relax a bit more. So I said, yeah, OK, you just make sure we win all our own games. So anyway, when I saw this Flora Proactive mini drink, well, I thought, great, there's something in it that helps my blood pressure, which is pretty nifty for a drink. To maintain a healthy heart, new Flora Proactive contains dairy peptides that are proven to help control blood pressure. Could I get a car on credit that starts work in the morning when I do? Yes, you could. Even if you've been refused credit elsewhere. Could I get a car on credit instead of relying on the bus? Yes, you could. And you could drive away the very same day. Could I get a car on credit that doesn't cost me a fortune in repairs? Yes, you could. All our cars come with a 125-point inspection, AA vehicle membership, and you can even use your old car as full deposit. Could I get a car on credit with a competitive interest rate? Yes, you could. At Yes Car Credit, we have over 2,500 cars in group stock, with most popular makes and models available. And there's even a seven-day no-quibble exchange policy if you change your mind. So call us now on 08000111247. Click on yescarcredit.net or see us in yellow pages and discover why Britain's saying yes to Yes Car Credit. That's new drill, Steve. Quality is that? Yeah. You won't believe the price I got it for either. Yeah, I didn't notice you popping out for that kit, John. That's because I had it delivered. Only ordered it last night at five to six. What are you reading, Nick? The Screwfix Direct Catalogue is the tradesman's secret that's too good to share. Call 0800 68 78 88 now for your free copy. Sure for men, it won't let you down. 
Get the official wrestling channel theme as your ringtone. Text the letters TWC to 88066. That's TWC to 88066. Every tiny V-Shot is squeezed full of fruit and vegetables. New V-Shots helps you on your way to five a day. Salty song? Eh, let me go. And pom sauteed. Splendid. One is utterly ravenous. Passes you rouge, old chap. It's this season's must-have, darling. It's so you. Ahem. <clears throat> You don't have to be posh to be privileged. All you need is four years no claims on your car insurance, then privilege will guarantee to beat your renewal quote. Now give all the la-di-da stuff a rest. For cheaper car insurance, call Privilege now on 0845 246 0022 or buy online at privilege.com. Maxine holding that left arm behind his back to prove that he's not going to try anything fast here. But Steve Wright still won't trust him. in the forehead, just above the eye. And Maxine turning pretty early to those inside tricks. Getting blind side of the ref. One thing is for sure here at the De Montfort Hall, Lester, if Maxine starts that sawing motion on his opponent's throat with his uh, man on the canvas, then he's going to get the bird really good and proper. Probably one of the most unpopular moves in professional wrestling. It's not a, a, a freestyle hold or a move of any kind. And the crowd generally hate it. Strangle hold still there. Down out of it very nicely. And the bridge. Cross scissors. And Maxine doesn't want to risk that. Steps out. And there's a lady at ringside there, and, and dressed in red, looking a bit irate already. Yes, there she is with glasses. She's going to join them any moment now. Certainly missed that head mare, okay. From the double interlock. <laughs> and Steve Wright played with the crowd now. For a straight arm left. Typing those beautifully. Knuckles into the back. He doesn't use the fist except the flat of the fist is against the back. White's certainly worried by it. Maxine won't take that fist off the back until the referee moves around. And back into the straight arm lift position. And another beautiful time whip. Just one minute left in the second.
Steve Wright hoping that he'll come to him this time, and he has. Under 30 seconds. And a cross-press attempt to Maxine. Wright operating the bridge, and again. 10 seconds. And Maxine better hurry if he's going to make this pay in this round. On the bell. Now. So Brian Maxine, Brian Goldbelt Maxine, I beg his pardon, from Ellesmere Port Cheshire, the former British welterweight title holder, and he held both titles for a short time. Now he has the middleweight title, which of course Clay Thompson had before that, and before that, Bert Royal. Round three, six to go, no score. Steve Wright in the light blue shorts, trunks rather, of uh, Warrington and Brian Maxine from Ellesmere Port. The referee, Gordon Smith, knows what trouble he's liable to have with Maxine in the ring, and he's already had some of it. the reverse to what expected and again that base of a spine throw and the rule it was a forearm I think was it a forearm no the crowd coming in around the ring here saying that was a punch but the referee happy that was a forearm jab it was a beautifully timed one whatever it was or oh, quite a few People from the spectators who rose quite far back came ringside then to complain about that. And the lift from that chancery came as he hit the top rope with his head, back of his head. And then again. in trouble from that forearm smash perfectly legal the crowd may not like Maxine doing a perfectly timed forearm smash but it is more as a punch Again, the left on the top rope. Illegal use of the ropes to get the advantage. And another perfectly good forearm smash there. And right weakening now. Oh, a beauty by right. Beauty. Clumsy but effective throw. Time it down a little bit, says Maxine. But he started the uproar. We must take the consequences on. Each time that Maxine turns, his back to the referee, you can watch for some inside moves there. Grinding the knuckles in, not legal. And uh, Wright, quite wisely, going out of the ring there intentionally to prevent coming back to Maxine and the impetus that time he got it beautiful <laughs> a 
Good buck, trying buck. Well, less than a minute to go now in the round three. And right coming back a bit at the moment. Paul on Gravitz to a side head chance for So far, a perfectly good hold. Referee right there, but and now he's going to watch it. But he, yes, he breaks them up on the bell of round three. Well, Steve Wright took quite a bit of stick in that round, as you saw, but. He came back on a couple of occasions so well that he might have taken the advantage at any moment. If he just can land one of his beautiful moves or one of these... Oh, the ring being puppered now. The ring being puppered with Maxine's pictures all torn up. So that's showing exactly what they think of him. Start round four with the canvas covered with broken up pictures of King of the Ring, Brian Maxine, as he quotes. No score, though, in the start of the round four. And again, a bad landing on that top rope by Wright. Wright in the light trunks. But a fairly good one, and another better one. That's a better one. And a double leg grab. A folded classic. He got the arms right. Look at those arms held. He's got it the first one to Steve Wright in round four. Whiplash TV, Saturdays at 10 p.m., only on the Wrestling Channel. Every time you V-Shot is squeezed full of fruit and vegetables. New V-Shots helps you on your way to five a day. Look at all the people, just like you and me, struggling with a heap of debt, wishing they were free. There's Miss Barton, she's always by the tills, but never has enough to pay her credit card bills. Poor Mr. Thompson, look at him sob. He took out a car loan, then lost his job. And with county court judgments and mortgage arrears, no wonder the unfortunate bloke's in tears. Here's Mrs. Robinson, she's feeling so glum, with a messy divorce and no proof of income. Home improvements are what she had planned, but the lender she tried wouldn't give her a hand. Then there's George, loans all over the place, and all those repayments he just can't face. But don't be so gloomy, it's not all a mess. We're here to help and we're called APS. Just pick up the phone, it's all you have to do, and we could arrange a remortgage for you. Here seven days a week, we're here today, taking care of your troubles so it's simple to pay. Moving you forwards full steam ahead, so you can sleep easy when you go to bed.
Hello. When you want a personal loan, you can just go to your bank. But why not see if it's easier, faster and cheaper to call Lombard Direct on 0800 2 15,000. Your rate is based on your circumstances and loan amount. Our typical rate is just 6.4% APR. For an unsecured personal loan of up to £25,000, call Lombard Direct on 0800 2 15,000 or apply online at LombardDirect.com. Sure for men, it won't let you down. Is your car a bit special? A sports car, a 4x4 or an executive saloon? You probably find most insurance companies want to charge you a fortune, if they want to know you at all. So what's the alternative? First Alternative, an insurance company set up for motorists like you. Call First Alternative now and you could cut your car insurance premium down to size. Call 08450 455 455 and see how much you could save. New customers save an extra 10% when you buy online at firstalternative.com. Download the hottest move of the week straight to your mobile. Text the word MOVE to 88066. That's MOVE to 88066. If you've been refused credit elsewhere, nobody tries harder than Welcome Car Finance to get you a newer car. Every year we approve thousands of people for car credit. Many of our top name cars are under two years old and all come with an independent quality and safety check and full MOT. Call Welcome Car Finance now and we'll give you at least £1,000 for your old car plus £250 cash back. Call Welcome Car Finance now on 0800 040 9000 or visit our website. Ah, this is the Wonder Kid, Johnny Storm, and I'm here with a very good friend of mine. This is none other than the Pucker One, fellow Essex boy, Darren Burridge. <laughs> that's, 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 that's basically, people, translated. That means this is TWC, and you're watching the Wrestling Channel. <laughs> Slag. Oh, cheers, mate. <coughs> to go and Wright, Steve Wright in the light blue trunks on the, the canvas now leading Brian Maxine the champion at middleweight by one full and up. Again the fist grinding bit going on, blind side of the ref, but that was perfectly legitimate, perfectly good, forearm smash to this time. And a bear hug to Maxine. Double-handed face bar, push away, but the first comes in the ribs again. And the referee saw it, the back elbow, he saw that. Perfect warning. the ropes but use his impetus again beautiful time and now he can't stop right <laughs> referee Gordon Smith might have a little trouble with Steve Wright in a minute he's getting a little too keen to continue well the crowd here at the De Montfort Hall Leicester really going mad at the thought of the possibility of Maxine losing his crown but of course they must realize that they obviously most of them don't that this is not about for the title but it would give Steve Wright a heck of a, a boost towards getting a chance of making Maxine defend it against him Steve Wright no doubt one of the up-and-coming wrestlers of today a brilliant boy but of course against this very difficult for him to use his style. That's okay, says uh, Gordon Smith. He was watching that closely.
turned out of it by Meister. Again, the straight arm lift position. And there it is. Now, is that left arm sufficiently weakened? Forearm smash, legal against the stomach. And there's the sewing motion. Oh, they won't stand for this here. The referee will take it for just so long. They just don't like it at all. That sewing motion move. Is illegal, so he's going to stop him across the face, prevent the breathing. So an immediate break called. One minute to go in the fifth, and it's a long time since we've seen Maxine trailing by a fall with a public warning against him. Maxine keeping clear away with a lot of those. Doesn't like them at all. Maxine doesn't worry too much about that. Right on the bell now of round five anyway. Steve Wright released then as he heard the bell. Maxine went in with one more forearm smash. He, he is complaining, of course, that he started the move before the bell, but the referee didn't think so. In fact, he gave him a second public warning. Second away, round six. Round six, and still Steve Wright leading Maxine by one fall and L. As Maxine in the dark purple trunks. And two public warnings against Maxine. Time on that second one. Nicely held. And the drop kick landed right in the chair. Beautiful. But Steve Wright has hurt his foot doing it. Landed badly from it. I don't know whether Maxine has seen that he's hurt his left knee. But Maxine will go straight for it if he, if he finds it out. Still right going in, despite the knee, and he has seen it. He has seen it, and goes straight for a submission and gets it. There's the equaliser in round six. For a moment there, I didn't think that Maxine had seen Steve Wright's knee trouble, but he obviously had. Not 
two-minute cheers for Brian Maxey on his equalising submission. And it's a question now as to whether Steve Wright, if he's allowed to continue at all, if he's able to continue at all, will he be able to stand up to Maxey and he'll go straight for that left leg again. Well, that's the end of the interval, so it's got to go ahead, but I don't think the referee's going to allow it, no. So, unfortunate, Steve Wright is forced to retire, and being helped out of the ring, oh, put his knee out there somehow. Anyway, Gordon Smith, the second, and Ernest Lofthouse, the MC, trying to help him out of his trouble. Maxine, as he says, told the king. Uh, thank you, and gentlemen. In round six, Steve Wright is able to continue. The winner, Brian Goldberg Maxine. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, you have a claim to win now. How about a hand for the very...